Okay, so um, now we're talking about the Midwest um, bracket. So Kansas is in the Midwest bracket. Frank Mason, probably player of the year, um, 28 and 4 on the year. Frank Mason averages 20 points a game, 21 points a game, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. He's a senior. Josh Jackson, freshman, has really came on throughout the year. Um, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. Devontae Graham, 13 points, um, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, Layden Lucas, 8 rebounds, 8, eight points, 8 rebounds. Um, like I said earlier, the way to beat him is get him in foul trouble. Um, Malik, uh, Malachi, he, he's some Ukrainian, averages 10 points a game. The Look, Gerald Vick, seven points a game. Malachi shoots threes. You know, Devontae Graham can shoot threes, and he can be a, an engine. You know, Frank Mason's one of the best engines, though. Josh Jackson, obviously, very versatile. You know, three, you know, gets a lot of steals and stuff like that, and this is a beast. They do a lot. Uh, Carl, Carlton Bragg, Jr., is someone that comes off the bench. Um, I looked at them to see them that they're going to win their first matchup and probably handle their second matchup. Um, okay, so they're hyping this fucking Miami-Michigan game and or Michigan State, Miami-Michigan State game because they're like, uh, Tom Izzo versus Bill Self. Uh, uh, what if what if Bill Self could or what if Tom Izzo could do it? They're the, I'm like, no, like fucking. I don't even think they can win in the first round. Like, I think that's a trap game. I think Miami can handle Michigan State. Um, Devon Reed, senior. Jaquan Newton, junior. These guys are averaging 15, 5, and 3, and then 13, 4, and 3. Bruce Bruce Brown has been playing better throughout the year. He's a freshman, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Kamari Murphy, 7 points, 8 rebounds. He's a senior. Um, you know, they got like a, a deep team, you know, uh, Anthony Lawrence Jr. He only averages seven points, four rebounds, three assists, or two assists. But he has been playing better um, later in the year. Um, then they got this foreigner from like Australia or something who's averaging like six points a game. He's been playing better. He's a freshman. Um, and then they got a couple of big men that average all right numbers uh, that kind of come off the bench if Murphy gets in foul trouble. They're 21 and 11 on the year. Michigan State, Michigan State starts like four fucking freshmen. It's ridiculous that they even made the tournament, that they're even as good as they, as, you know I mean? It's crazy if they're even as good as they are. Miles Bridges is fucking ridiculous. You forget that he's a freshman at times. Um, 17 points, eight rebounds, two assists. Nick Ward, he's really good. 14 points, 6 rebounds. Cassius Winston, 7 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. Joshua Langford, 7 points, 2 rebounds. Alvin Edwards, 6 points, 3 rebounds. He's a senior. He's all right. Tum Tum Nair is all right. 4 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Matt McQuaid, someone that comes off the bench. And then Aaron, Har- Aaron Harris is someone that was a senior that was averaging 10 points a game that got hurt. So that really hurt. That really hurt them when he went out. But, you know, those four that I first mentioned are kind of their main guys. But, you know, Bridges and Ward get a lot of it done. But I'm going with Miami. I think Miami is a better team. That was honestly, like, to me, a no-brainer. Iowa State-Nevada. Iowa State-Nevada is a tough one. But, I don't know, at the same time, Nevada, like, I feel like they're really confident. When I watch their game, like, they're really confident in themselves, like, to make shots and stuff. So, like, if they're on – they could potentially be scary, but like they weren't really. I don't really feel like they were on versus Nebraska, versus not Nebraska, versus Colorado State. Um, but they got this guard that's pretty good. Um, Mark Marcus Marshall, he averages 20 points a game. He's a senior. Um, Cameron Oliver, 15 points, eight rebounds a game. Uh, he's a he's a sophomore. Uh, he's one of their big men. Jordan Carolina, one of their other big men that had a big game in the in the championship game because Marshall didn't have a good game. He had 14 points. DJ Feener had four, had 14 points. Elijah Foster is someone that's hurt. Uh, and Lindsey Drew, he looks like uh, Larry Drew's son, but he averaged uh, – I don't know what the fuck. I think he averaged nine points and five rebounds a game. 
Um, but you know, they they were they looked like they were pretty fluent. They looked like they were pretty good. But like this Iowa State team, like they lost like two years ago or one year ago to UAB, and so. I think they kind of are going to be ready this first weekend. This is a team that I really don't look too much of, like, upset alert, unless, like, they just come out on and are just killing them. But, yeah, like, Monte Morris, you know, he doesn't turn the ball over. He's a senior, 16 points, five rebounds, four, uh, six assists. Devontae Burton, if he gets hot, shits over, 15 points, six rebounds, two assists. Uh, Naz Mitchell Long, 15 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. He's a, all these guys are seniors. Matt Thomas, 12 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. And then Solomon Young is a freshman. He averages 5 points a game, 3 rebounds. Darnell Bowie, a senior, averages 6 points a game, 4 rebounds. Donovan Jackson, 6 points a game. Um, 23 and 10 on the year. Just came off the Big Ten champion, Big 12 championship. I like them to win uh, the first round game. Um, and then we talk about, uh, Purdue and Vermont. I think Vermont's a team that like going into it, looking at the bracket, you're like, they could potentially upset somebody, but then I don't really like their matchup. You know, Anthony Lamb is someone that's going to get put on by Vince Edwards. Vince Edwards is going to match up against them. Um, he averages 12 points a game, but he was, he is like a freshman of the year in the American East. Um, and he's, he's pretty good. Um, he could be a mismatch, but at the same time, like, uh, I don't, I don't know. And then Peyton Henson, he averages at eleven points a game, five rebounds. Trey Bell Hayes, he's their point guard. I think he's kind of their best player. Eleven points a game, three rebound, two rebounds, three assists. Um, and this team could potentially, but like, it's just their matchup is what is what kills them. You know, they got matched up against you know Biggie Swan again. You know, walking double double, eighteen points, thirteen rebounds, three assists. He's a fucking sophomore. Um, Dakota Mathias, ten points, four rebounds, four assists. Um, Carson Edwards, ten points, three rebounds, two assists. He's a very good point guard. Uh, PJ Thompson, seven points, two rebounds, three assists. He's a very good point guard. Uh, Vince Edwards, they're kind of their eraser on defense. Twelve points, five rebounds. Three assists. He can play multiple positions. Ryan Klein is someone that can come off the bench and shoot three, six points a game. Two rebounds, two assists. Uh, Vince Edwards is an underrated player. Um, and then Isaac Haas. Isaac Haas is someone I haven't really talked about it all this year. I forget about him because he comes off the bench. But he's a very good player if his shot's going for him. He averages 13 points a game. He's their second leading scorer, too. So he scores a lot of points. You know, if, if Swanigan's not in, he's in. And he averages five uh, five. Five rebounds a game, too. I think their size is going to kill them. Um, so, um, I, I think Purdue will win that game. Um, and then Creighton, uh, Rhode Island, I was already saying how much I loved Rhode Island going into the to the A ten tournament and how I thought they would win the A ten tournament. I think if they wouldn't have won the A ten tournament, I think I don't think they would have made the tournament. Um, but they were hot in the tournament, and so I like them going into the tournament. And they got a good matchup. Um, e C Matthews, fourteen points a game, four rebounds. Um, you know he's very immobile on offense because I feel like he's not a hundred percent with the with the knee, but but. He's a very good player. Karan Iverson, 9.7 rebounds, two, uh, two, re uh, two assists. Um, he's a senior. Hassan Martin, defensive player, A-10 of the year. A-10 Defen defensive player of the year, 14.7 rebounds. Uh, Jarvis Garrett, six points. Uh, Jeff Dowen, a freshman, someone that is a good engine, um, five points coming off the bench. Uh, Gerald, uh, Jared Terrell, 12 points, two rebounds, two assists. He's he's a he's a good score. He he had a good game in the championship game against VCU. Um and Stanford Robinson is someone that comes off the bench, six points a game. Um yeah, their main guys though are Martin, Iverson, Mar uh, uh, Matthews, Martin, Iverson are their main guys, and then Garrett, Dowen, Terrell are their next three. Um 
And they got matched up against Creighton. I like their matchup. I think they can handle Creighton. You know, uh, Creighton's best weapon is Marcus Foster. Marcus Foster, if he's going off, if him and Patton are going off, it's going to be scary. Patton's only a freshman. You know, if, if they're going off, it'll be scary. Um, but um, to me, um, to me, the like, to me, like they're not. I just after they lost Marcus, after they lost uh, Maurice, Maurice Watson. It, I mean, it was just kind of like it's just over. It's just over for them. Like you know, Marcus Foster averaging eighteen points a game, three rebounds, two assists. You know, he's a transfer from Kansas State. Think about if Kansas State wouldn't you know let him go or like I don't know if he just wanted to leave. I don't really know what happened with that. But he used to play at Kansas State. I remember that. He was really good. He was even good as a freshman. He's going to be the X factor if the, if he can play good. You know, if Rhode Island's shooting good, then they can't. Then they're not going to do anything. But if uh, if if uh, you know they're not, then you know him and Patton are going to have good games. Patton averages thirteen points a game, seven foot freshman, uh, six rebounds. Um, you know, like I said, Maurice Watson out for the year. He was averaging thirteen points a game, um, eight and a half assists. That's that's ridiculous. That's that's the most I've seen out of anybody this year. Um, and then you know, Kyrie Thompson has been playing pretty good. He's a sophomore. Um, he averages twelve points a game, six rebounds, uh, three assists. Um, and then uh, Cole Huff is someone that's a four that can stretch out and, and shoot threes. He averages nine points a game, four rebounds. He's a senior. Um, you know, uh, Zach Hansen, someone that is a big man that can that that they have. Um, and then they have all these other guys like Isaiah Zerden. He averages like five points a game. Just guys that shoot threes. Hag Hagner. He averages like five points a game. Uh, and then they have a freshman, Devon Mintz. He kind of starts. He averages like three points a game, two assists. Um, and so I just they to me they just to me they they just they have a tough they've got a tough go. Um, that's how I feel. They've got a tough go. Um, and Rhode Island's hot right now. I think Rhode Island's going to win. Um, next would be Oregon. So Oregon, you know, no Chris uh, Bush, uh, Boucher, which is, you know, sad. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are talking, you know, I don't know about Oregon now. Duh, duh. I don't think the injury is going to – I mean, it, it might it, – it will affect them um, some. Um, but, like – at the same time, like I don't know, I say that, and at the same time, I'm gonna, you know, I'm pick, I'm gonna pick against them later. But um, you know, Dylan Brooks is an awesome player. He comes to play when it's tournament time. 16 points a game, uh, three rebounds, three assists. Um, he's a junior. Jordan Bell, um, averages 11 points a game, eight rebounds. He's a junior. He'll probably go to the NBA. He's a very good uh, NBA prospect. Uh, Tyler Dorsey, 13 points a game, three re rebounds, two assists. He's a sophomore. If he's hitting threes, it's over, like I said earlier. Dylan Ennis. Dylan Ennis is someone I hadn't talked about. He's like 25, 26 years old. He's like a six-year senior. He's had a couple injury-filled seasons. Um, he's very good at getting to the lane. He's a good defensive player. He's a senior leader. Uh, 11 points a game, four rebounds, three assists. Peyton Pritchard, the freshman that I talked about, seven rebounds or seven points, three rebounds, four, uh, four assists a game. Uh, and then, um, you know, Chris Boucher was averaging 12 points and six rebounds a game. I mean, he's a senior. That's huge. Um, he was able to step out and shoot threes. He's able to stretch out there. Um, Cavell Bigby Williams is the guy that's going to be replacing him. He's averaging three, three points, three rebounds. That'll obviously go up. Casey Benson is another guy that I can think of that comes off the bench for them. He kind of sucks. I don't really like him. Um, he's like, he averages five points a game, two rebounds, two assists. Um, and then, um, he just looks fucking scared when he's playing. Um, 25 and 9, 20, 29 and 5 on the year. Um, I think they're going to beat Iona. You know, Iona wasn't the best, wasn't the best team in the, 
and the Mac this year, and and uh, I want to their best player. Um, may get them in foul trouble though, so that may hurt them. Um, he's kind of like he kind of gets into the lane a lot and stuff. He's able to drive and stuff, but he's he averages it's a Jordan Washington. He averages seventeen points a game, seven rebounds. Uh, and then like some of the other guys that I saw, uh, Deshaun Munch nine points a game, EJ EJ. Crawford averages nine points a game. Sam Cassell Jr. He averages ten points a game. Ricky McGill averages ten points a game, five assists. John Severe averages uh, ten points a ga- or eleven points a game, and he's a senior. Um, you know, I don't know. Like I said in my other video, I thought they get a fourteen. Like they usually, like that conference usually gets a fourteen. Um, so they're not bad. They're good. They're pretty good. But I think you know, I think Oregon's going to be able to win that game. But saying that. You know, I think Oregon is going to have trouble in the next round against the Roadies. Um, So then a very good game, a game that I was – I'm very excited about, another 7-10 matchup that I'm excited about, uh, Michigan and Oklahoma State. So Michigan, Oklahoma State, Michigan – let's talk about Oklahoma State first. Uh, Oklahoma State is very – uh, they're not as hot as as hot as Michigan is. They were hot hotter earlier in the year. They've kind of cooled off. They're a good team though, and if they can shoot some threes, they could be they could be good. I I had them see it as like a seven, so I was kind of sad that they had a ten. That was one of the seeds that I was kind of like one of the worst off of. Um, I had, you know, I mean, I had them, I had them a lot. Uh. I had them a lot higher than than they got, so that was kind of disappointing. But um, other than that, um, other than that, uh, all good. It, it's just like for them, you know. We'll see what happens. I'm worried for them though, because like Michigan is hot right now, you know, and like. There are two teams that I said, oh, you know, these two teams could go deep. Well, now they're playing each other, and it's like the team they're playing is just a little bit hotter. Sophomore Juwan Evans, 19 points a game, three rebounds, six assists, um, very good player. Um, you know, and then uh, Jeff, Jeffrey Carroll, he's a junior. He's really came up this year. He's averaging 17 points a game, uh, six rebounds. Um, if he's hitting threes, it's going to be a tough game for Michigan. Uh, Phil Forte, 13 points a game, uh, two rebounds. He's a scrappy little dude. He's a senior. Um, and then uh, Leighton Hammonds is a, is there is there one of their big, bigger guys. He averages eight points a game, five rebounds. Um, you know, and then they just kind of have a couple other guys that kind of help out, like Devon Dillard, the big dunker. He's a sophomore. He averages five points a game, three rebounds. Uh, Lin, uh, Lindy Waters, the third. He's a freshman. He averages six points a game, two rebound, two rebounds. Oh, and then Mitchell Solomon is another big man that they have. He averages five points a game, five rebounds. Uh, another guard that comes off the bench, Brandon out. Uh, Averett. He's a freshman. Averages five points a game, two rebounds, two assists. Um, so. They don't have um, their their main three is that is Forte, uh, Carroll and Evans, and if Evans and and Carroll aren't sh- and aren't hitting shots, it's going to be a bad day for them. I'm thinking Michigan's going to win. Uh, Michigan's fucking hot right now, um, coming off the Big Ten tournament, um, and you know. I'm even like you know like like one of those guys said on the show. I'm scared to pick fucking Louisville. Like I'm really hot on Louisville, but I'm scared to pick Louisville. I'm kind of the same way. I'm pick, I'm scared to pick Louisville against Michigan. Um, Derek Walton Jr. is playing out of his mind. He's a senior. Um, he's playing out of his mind right now. 15 points a game, five rebounds, five assists. That's pretty good. Moritz Wagner playing out of his mind right now. 12 points. He's a big stretch stretch uh, five uh, guy that can step out and shoot threes. 12 points, 4 rebounds. Zach Irving, um, 13 points a game, 5 rebounds, 3 
Sis, he's a senior. He's trying to show out. DJ Wilson has been he he has some he'll play he'll he'll ball out some games. Um he averages ten points a game, five rebounds. Uh and then they have Muhammad uh Ab- Abdul Rahman and he averages like nine points a game, three rebounds, two assists. Duncan Robinson, I don't know if Duncan Robinson comes off the bench or whatever, but he averages eight points a game. He's a senior, and then Mark Donald's another big man that they have. Um, I looked for Michigan to win that first round game, and then Louisville. Louisville is one of my favorites um, to go pretty deep. I'm gonna say that, um, and you know Donovan Mitchell, a sophomore, uh, 16 points a game, five rebounds, uh, three assists. I really like I really like Donovan Mitchell. Um, he's a guy that shoots a lot of threes. He gets steals. Um, and I, I don't know why, but like, I just, I don't know. He, he, he makes big shots and bit in big times too. And, and not always just like clutch baskets, but like kind of down, you know, game like four, three minutes left or like his team needs a big basket. He always has a big, big basket. Um, and Louisville plays really good defense. Um, Quentin Snyder, he averages 13 points a game, three rounds, four, four assists. He's a junior. Uh, he's the point guard. He's the engine. Um, he was injured earlier in the year. When he was injured, they looked not as good without him. Uh, Dang Adele, someone that big dunker, good defender, averages 12 and five. Uh, Jalen Johnson, a big man. Um, he's like their four. He averages eight and six. Okay, so then their fives, Anas Mahoud and uh, Mangong Mathiang. Uh, Mathiang averages seven and six. Mahmoud Mah- averages six and four. These two guys, sometimes one of them starts, sometimes the other one starts. It, these guys are like night and day. And I'm not. And when I'm saying that, I'm saying they either play fucking awesome or they play fucking terrible. And oh, sometimes they both play good. Sometimes they both play bad. Um, and sometimes one of them plays good. Sometimes they, one of them plays bad. I mean, I remember a game when my mood played really, really good. You know, I remember games when Matthew Yang played good. But like, if one of them, at least one of them, plays good, and they don't get in foul trouble, um, that's the difference in this team. That's how this team will go deep, really deep. Ray Spalding, another guy, is pretty big. He 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 gets six points a game, six assists, uh, or not six 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 rebounds. Uh, VJ King, a freshman, averages six points a game, and Tony Hicks averages four game, four points a game. He's a transfer, and he's a senior. Um, so I like Louisville um, to advance in that first round to play Michigan. Um, I see them winning a close game against Michigan. I see Rhode Island beating Oregon in a close game. You know, I think the injury is going to catch up to Oregon at this point. Um, Iowa State, Purdue, my fours and fives. I got another some more fours and fives there. Um, and I think Iowa State will come out on top um, in this game. I think it will be a really great game, though. Purdue, Iowa State will be a really good game. And then Kansas, Miami. I think Kansas, Miami will be a good game, too. But I think uh, Kansas will come out on top. I've got Kansas beating Iowa State. Um, you know, that's a game that could go either way, honestly. Um you know, but I pick, I'm picking Kansas to win that. Uh, Rhode Island, Louisville, I think Louisville will win at that point. Um, and then I think Louisville beats Kansas in the Elite Eight. And um, I've got uh, I've got Louisville going to the Final Four, beating you know beating Kansas uh, in the Elite Eight.